Hello, hello everyone, it's Miss Sochi and we're going to go through today's math slides. So the first part today is for you to log on to Doodle and answer your five a day questions. Now, if you want to stop the video and do that straight away, that's okay. Or if you want to go on it after, that's fine. So today we are going to continue in our unit of investigating statistics and we're going to focus on weight. And we're going to have a look today at um, some objects and I want you to say if they're heavier or lighter. We're going to have a go if we can make a prediction about weight and we're going to have a go at recording and measuring weight using scales. Okay. So first of all, we're going to have a look at some of the language used, so some of those special words. Um, then we're going to have a go at identifying if things are heavy or light, what tools we will use and how we are measuring and what, me what weight is measured in. So if you have a look on the screen now, there are some words here that this would be our maths vocabulary. So we've got words that are the same as lightest, heavier, more than, equal to, lighter, heaviest, less than. We've got grams and we've got kilograms. So in today's lesson, we need to be making sure we're using the right um, vocabulary and you're saying some of these words during your lesson today. OK, first of all, I just want you to have a quick go at this. So have a look at the two items here. Have a think about which item, whether it's the school shoes or the socks, which item is lighter? So which is the lightest item? And if you want to write that down in your book, you can have a think. Or if you've got these items in your home, how about holding them? How about holding a pair of socks in one hand and some shoes or trainers in the other hand and see which one you think is lighter? Again, the next slide. Which of these items is the heaviest? So which one's heavier? So if you have got a lunchbox at home, how about you hold one of a lunchbox in one hand and a spoon in the other hand and see which one is the heaviest. So just a little think before we start um, as the start of the lesson, have a think, which one is heavier? OK, we're going to have a look now at balancing scales and how we measure when we measure using balancing scales. Now, if we were at school, we've got some balancing scales and we would be having a go at putting maybe cubes, maybe rulers, glue sticks, things around the classroom and finding out the weight of them. If you have a look at this scale here, on a balancing scales, you have two sides, okay? When something, when one of those sides goes down, it means that the item is heavy, heavier than the other side. When, on the other side, when one part of the scale goes up, it means that the item is lighter. So if you have a look here, you've got three items here and one item there. So these three items weigh more than that one item. And you can see because over on this side, the scale has gone down, showing it that it's heavy. And on this side, the scale has gone up, showing that it's light. You have a look here at the bottom. You've got a scale where it is the same. OK, both sides are at the same level. Now, this scale has got nothing in at the minute. But if it did have something in and the scales were the same level, it would mean that the weight of the objects are the same. OK, the weight of the objects are equal to each other. So one isn't heavier, one isn't lighter, they are the same, they weigh the same. What I'd like you to have a go at doing now is you can pause the video to do this and go back onto the slide. I want you to have a go at practicing using these balancing scales, okay? There's a little game here. When you finish that, come back to the slides because we've got more to do and more to explain. Okay. We're now going to have a look at measuring scales. So when we measure things like objects, food, people, we use lots of other things that we could, um, we measure lots of other things. We use different scales. If you're measuring things that are smaller, um, that are lighter, we measure in grams. And you might have seen this if you've said made a cake or made a recipe where you've had to use scales. For heavier objects, we use something called 
kilograms that we weigh in. What I would like you to do is I'd like you to just watch this BBC video here, click on the link and it will send you to a video and you will be able to see people measuring different things using the different scales, using grams and using kilograms. OK, this is an activity now that I would like you to do. So I'd like you to have a look at these scales. Now, these scales are in grams, as you can see there. I'd like you to have a look at the arrows. What number is the arrow pointing to? So if you were using your scales at home, if you've got scales, um, you could see what gram it would be on. Have a go at writing these down in your book. OK, so if you want to stop the video here, and have a go at them now or watch through um, through the rest of the video and then do this after. So have a go here if you can identify the gram. The next activity, have a go if you can identify the kilogram. Now, if you can print off, that's great. If you can't, don't worry. Have a go at drawing out the scales here in your books and draw an arrow to the correct kilogram. So have a look at the scales here and it's asking you to find two kilogram, five kilograms or one kilogram. Point to where you think that would go on the scales. OK, and when you've done all of those activities, send in a picture on Class Dojo and we will have a look for you. OK, if you've got any messages at all, just let me or Mrs McNichol Edwards know. Hope you enjoy this lesson. Um, Please make sure you are having a go at the games, going on Doodle, just so we can get as much um, work from you so that you can see what it would be like to weigh. See you tomorrow. Thank you.